Hi, my name is Simon from JoomlaSEO.com and in this video I want to show you how you can use the JCH Optimize plugin to speed up your website a lot. The plugin does so by optimizing various parts of your website like minimizing HTTP requests, optimizing your CSS and JavaScript, setting sprites and using lazy load techniques to speed up the loading of your image. Also, there are some more optimizations within the plugin, and we are going to take a look at all of those. In the downloads area, you can see that it is available for Joomla and also some other CMSs. And also that there is a free version of the plugin and the pro version of the plugin. In this video, I'm going to use the pro plugin, but I will also show you which parts are within the free plugin and which parts are within the pro plugin. So if this is the first time you are using it, Feel free to start with the free plugin that will tell you whether it is good for your website or not. So to show you how the plugin works, I am using this website. It contains a demo package of a rocket theme template and it's quite heavy because it contains a lot of functionality and JavaScript. So it's a good uh, website to show you how the plugin works and how we can optimize it. Now the first thing that we need to do is to check the current performance of the website because you always want to know how the performance of the website was before and after you performed actions with the plugin. I often use GT metrics to measure the performance of my websites. And that is because it analyzes the website with two different tools. So you get a good idea of how the website performs. So I just type in the URL of my website and click on analyze. And the tool will start working and processing. It's fetching the sites. It's analyzing with Y slow and page speed. It's generating the report and the thumbnail. And you can see that the page speed score is a 29%, which is pretty low. Y slow gives us a score of 76%. Also, the loading time is 3.1 seconds and we have 37 HTTP requests. So now we will start optimizing our plugin and see if we can improve things. By this stage I have downloaded the plugin and installed it and I've looked it up in the plugin manager by filtering on the word JCH and here it is. Now the first thing we are going to do is of course enable it and then we go to the basic options. So this is the section which is about combining CSS and JavaScript files. We set it to enabled and we can choose from various levels of optimizations from very minimal to optimal, where optimal is a pretty aggressive sort of optimization. So if you use this, also always make sure that your site still works as it should. So in this case, let's just try optimum and see if the site still works and if you set it to optimum you can see what this actually means by clicking on the automatic settings group all these settings are set by the button at the at the top so if you set it to minimum some of these settings are probably set to no and if you set it to optimum everything uh, set to yes in this case, maybe I'm deviating by setting this one to no. You could play with that. Then we have the miscellaneous settings. The fixed file permissions is usually left untouched. You can set the order plugin button once to make sure that the plugin is set in the correct order in the plugin manager. And with the clean cache button, you can clean the cache for JCH if you want to. And this one is very interesting because the leverage browser caching button adds some code to the htaccess file of your website which makes reusing resources um, a lot quicker. So I simply advise you to click this button and your htaccess file will be, op will be optimized. So that is the basic options. Let's now go to the exclude options. And in the exclude options, 
you can exclude parts of your website from being optimized. And this can be useful if these parts don't play well with the optimization from JCH optimized. So what you can do, you can exclude individual files from optimization and you can se select all the ones that the plugin recognizes in here. But usually what is more useful is to exclude complete extensions from, from optimization. So on this website I only have the Rockbox component installed. But if I have components like RS Form or Hikashop and they don't play well with the optimization, you can exclude them over here. And you can also remove them again. Then at the bottom you see some options for completely removing some files. So they are not optimized, they are completely removed. And of course you need to know whether they can really be removed. But sometimes you have those files. So in this case I see the Moodle's core JS file. In many websites it is not needed. And it is quite a heavy JavaScript file. So it can save weight for the, for the website. So those are the exclude options. Here we have some more options. These are all still free. So we have a sprite generator and an option to add width and height attributes to image elements. And often this is, this is advised. And then we have the pro features. Well, first of all, you can add your download ID so that your updates are shown automatically in the Joomla Update Manager and you can update it from there. Also, you can add CDN support. So if you use a CDN, simply add the CDN domain over here and also which files you need to be served through the CDN and you can set them here. And also you can set lazy load of images and what this does is that it makes sure that the website does not automatically load all images, but it only loads the images that are shown up above the fold. And it will only load the rest of the images if you scroll down. So if you don't scroll down, the images will never have to be loaded. Also, you can play with C CSS delivery. This is a pretty advanced feature, but you can experiment with that. But be careful, it can sometimes break the site. And then finally, you can optimize the images for your website and compre compress them with lossless compression. So maybe I want to optimize all images in my images folder. Then I click opti optimize images and they will be optimized. But in this case, I have not added my download to these, so it doesn't work. Well, basically that's all. So let's now save the plugin. And let's see how our site currently looks. So first of all, let's refresh the page and see if it still looks all right. Well, it seems to look all right. Everything still works. The menu still works. Scrolling down, I don't see anything. So if the site was broken, I may have seen an unstyled page, if so, which could be an indication that the CSS is lost or whatever. But here, there is no issue at all, and, uh, but also make sure you check it on mobile and on tablets. So that's a good thing. And now the final part. Let's see if the performance has improved. So keep an eye on these figures. We have a page score of 29 and 76, loading time of 1.1 seconds, page size 1.75 megabyte and 73 requests. So this is the combination of CSS and JavaScript files and images, etc. So let's click the retest button. So it will reanalyze the page again. It's fetching the site again. It will test using both PageSpeed and YSlow again. It's generating the thumbnail. And there are our scores. Well, this is pretty impressive. 29 has become 70, 73 has become 89, 3.1 has become 2.3, so almost a second gained. The page size was 1.75 and is now 1.01, and we have 
also lost about 40 requests and as we saw the page still works normally so this is an enormous gain in performance by just using the simple JCH optimized plugin. So my tip for you is to play with the plugin. First use the free version and if it works also buy the pro version because the money is really worth it. Have fun optimizing.